Hi everybody, welcome back to the next in my updated for 2024 beginner's guides to modding your DAISY PC community server and we're finally really getting into the weeds with some fantastic mods that you're going to be um, very pleased with, especially if you're coming from console, because in this one we're going to be installing an admin mod. So this is the big sort of thing that we can do on PC that unfortunately at the moment we can't do on console which means I can do things like this I can bring up the mod I can go to free cam and there we go and then I have free cam to fly around with and uh, isn't that absolutely amazing look at that we can teleport around the map we can spawn in whatever we like we can do you know absolutely fantastic stuff so in this video what we're going to be doing is we are going to be installing Zomberry admin tools. Let's just come out of that. Um, uh, where are we? Free cam. There we go. Let's come back to that. Um, which is a lightweight admin mod that can do an awful lot of things. So we can fly around the map. We can spawn things in. We can teleport. We can do things to other players as well. Um, really is re really good. 90% of the admin duties that you want to do, you'll probably be able to do with Zobri Amber admin before you move on to something more complicated like vanilla plus plus admin. Before we get started though with how to install this on your Daisy PC community server, I just want to remind everybody that this is a series of videos. So in the description below this one, you'll find a link to the playlist that has them all in that takes you from a complete beginner choosing on what server you might want to buy through to installing PC Steam Workshop mods. Also, you'll find a previous video and a next video link because I'm trying to record these in some sort of a logical order so that each video builds on the last in terms of the knowledge base that you will be learning and developing yourself. But let's get cracking. So as with all things DAISY PC, when it comes to mods, uh, Steam Workshop mods, we've got to head over to the Steam Workshop. And I'll put links to these in the description below the video. And we need to subscribe to Zombri Admin Tools. And there is a required item, which is CF. So you're going to subscribe to CF as well. Now, while you're at Zombri Admin Tools and any of the mods, always have a read through and look at the update notes. And what you're looking for is instructions on how to install it and here you can see so we've got how to install an FAQ um, and then you can just read through this as there's a nice video nice uh, information on how to involve, install CF then you scroll down and it tells you how to install it on a server as well incredibly easy this one so what will happen next is once you've subscribed to both of these fire up the launcher and that will then download automatically the, the mods and the next thing we need to do is we want to upload these mods to our server. And we're going to be using FileZilla. We've already had done tutorials on how to use FileZilla as well. Um, and so far up FileZilla and attach, um, attach, go to File, Site Manager, connect it to the site that you're going to be um, working with. In this case, this is my DAISY site. Um, and you remember that if we go into DAISY standalone, this is where we end up putting the mods. However, on the left-hand side, this is our local computer. So this is where we need to find the workshop folder inside DayZ. And the easy way to find this is in the launcher, when before you've launched the game, if you click on one of the little arrows, click on the three little dots, and it says open um, folder, open um, Windows Explorer, and that will take you directly there, and then you can copy and paste the address up here and that will tell you where it is or it will probably be somewhere like C program files x86 steam steam apps common there's the workshop folder there so the first thing we want to do is we want to right click upload community framework um, make sure you've kind of left clicked there actually first uh, upload then that will then put that one up there as you can see I've already done it and then you go scroll all the way to the bottom and then clicking on daisy standalone right click upload zombie admin tools and that will then upload next thing we want to do is we want to make sure the keys are in the correct place as well so open up cf on your local pc here click on the keys folder there open up the keys folder on your uh, server and then you just right click on the key there upload 
and as you can see Jacob Mango will go to there and then we scroll down whoop, to Zombri admin tools click on keys and we're gonna right click upload the Vaker dot by key and that will upload it to there next thing we need to do is we need to go to the settings on your in this case Nitrado server and we need to in the additional mod section we need to put in at cf semicolon at zombie space admin space tools semicolon if you've got mods after that and that it's telling the server to start with those particular mods now if you're not running a nitrado pc server or you've got access to the de uh, uh, daisy.config file or sometimes they call config files or configuration pro uh, files this is what this will be in um, um, uh, sorry no it will be in this sorry I just said that wrong this will be in the start.bat file so it'll be in your windows batch file so your bat.bat file so it'll be in the start line it'll start and it'll say mods and you'll have access to there not in the server dz.config file sorry um, and you'll see this is where you can put that in on no trado though this is where we put that in there so once you put in there click save changes and then restart your server now while the server's doing that um, what Zombri will be doing is it will add a folder a directory to your config folder on your server so inside the daisy standalone directory there'll be a new config and it'll be zomberry and in it is a file that's called admins.config into that we need to put our steam id now to get our steam id fire up the steam client go to click on your name click on account details and your steam id is underneath there see that that's my steam id there so i can copy that out of there um, and then what we want to do is once the server has restarted um, op open up your config now sometimes in Zombri if you can't see it here if you just click on a folder and press F5 that will then refresh it so we can click on Zombri see it says admins so we now we can right click this and we can say uh, view and edit and that will then download it to your local computer if it asks you what program to open it in you're gonna open it in for example notepad plus plus as you can see there we go so let me just paste in there we go and then we say so that's my steam id all you do is save that go back to files and it says the file has changed do you want me to re-upload it and you say yes that re-uploads it so that is now there uh, the admins has now been updated and that's how easy it is to do that so what we do now is we go back to the server restart the server and the server will now read that admins config file and recognize the fact that you are an admin so that when you when you join the server again now you'll be able to simply go into the server press o to bring up the tools and you can do things like um let's go to spawn so let's spot we spawn in let's spawn in a i don't know m16 um, and then if you click down here in the bottom we've got so we can put ground so let's spawn in an m16 and let's click down here and put in stanag uh, spawn in some of those so if we now look if we now come out of this by pressing O we can see on the floor there's an <laughs> there's an M16 with a load of stuff with it which is absolutely fantastic you can even do stuff like okay let's spawn in press O to bring it up spawn in a off-road so here we go let's so we spawned in the Humvee we can walk up to it press O we can press root refuel and repair donk and now we've got a working vehicle to zoom around now often when you spawn things in like this like, like vehicles they will disappear on server restarts a lot of the time um, because they haven't been spawned in by the game and so there's no associated event with it um, but you know generally when you're doing things like this you're, you're doing it because you're doing admin stuff so we can go on the map we could for example go to my favorite place northeast airfield we just press alt and then click dunk and we're up at the northeast airfield if we can press o again we can get free cam and we're just using w asd and our so our mouse points where we want to go 
and then we can press uh, shift to go faster. I think you can roll your mouse to go even faster. Look at this. I mean, imagine if we could do this in console. Press O to come out of free cam. Now, there is kind of a little bit of a bug um, in the fact that your character, when you go to aim down sights, they kind of, kind of the head points in the wrong direction. Um, and they end up looking in the wrong direction and the only really way to s solve this is to log out and log in again but again generally you're working as an admin um, so you're not bothered about that you toggle god you can heal your character and you can select your character here so we could kill for example but also any other characters that are on the uh, in the server here they will then appear here and you can do stuff for them um, so what you could do, so for example, I could select another player and I could say teleport target to cursor or teleport target to me. So if you're in free cam mode, you could teleport a player somewhere you wanted to um, do all that sort of wonderful stuff. Um, it's very, very good for testing. In fact, let me show you one of the ways I would test stuff. So with Zombie Admin, if I was testing whether my uh, server files were working correctly um, when it comes to uh, things spawning it gun spawning in with weapon with um hello, where's that gun gun spawning in with uh, mags and things like that I would probably go to, to the northeast northwest airfield and we would go we could go somewhere like this he said and go to the tent area and just look around and see what's spawning in. When you get a little bit more used to this, you can do things like use Vanilla++ Plus Plus Admin. That's a little bit more powerful because it actually has an XML ad, uh, editor as part of it. So you can find stuff. So you can search for by class name. So you could for, search for M416 and thing, things like that, you know, as we're wandering around. So we can see, right, is everything spawning in? Is it as we would expect it to be? Um, and that's a great way of testing things. Yeah. And generally, when you are testing your servers, if loot is spawning in, that's always a good sign. Um, and if zombies are spawning in, that's always a good sign as well. So there we go. That's how easy it is to install Zombie Admin. And for a long, long time, Zombie Admin was the only admin tool I used. Um, I use a fair bit of Vanilla++ Plus Plus Admin as well now. But Zombie Admin always tends to work and it's nice and lightweight and um, doesn't seem to be bothered by updates so it always seems to be compatible and i think it's very good indeed so thank you for vaker for uh, creating it so that's enough from me hopefully you find this useful if you have hit like once you want the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon